So, combined gas law incorporates each gas law. P1, V1 over N1, T1 is equal to P2, V2 over N2, T2, where P is pressure, V is volume, N is number of moles, T is temperature Kelvin. If a factor isn't mentioned, we're going to cross that out. Okay? So, let me just show you how what I mean by all the laws are incorporated in this one law. So if we have the combined gas law right here, and we're talking about temperature and uh, volume, if we're talking about temperature and volume, we're not talking about pressure and moles. So just get rid of those factors. And what gas law do we have here? What's volume and temperature? Charles law. So Charles law is in the combined gas law. What if we're not talking about moles and temperature? What gas law is this? Oil's law. And lastly, if we're not talking about volume and moles, what gas law is this? Pressure temperature. So the combined gas law has everything in it. So all you actually have to do is know this one gas law. And then everything else you just get rid of. So let's try an example problem of the combined gas law for a second. And I'll give this to you guys. You guys will have this. I'll give this, this gas law to you. So a gas at 27 degrees Celsius occupies 2.8 liters at uh, 100 kPa. Uh, what is the volume? At 100 27 degrees Celsius at 90 kPa. Yeah, try this one now, and then we'll just we'll get started. So in this problem here, we talk about what 27 degrees Celsius. What's that represent? T1. T1. That's my first temperature. Now, what what do we have to convert that to? Kelvin, 300 Kelvin. It occupies 2.8 liters. What does that give you right there? My volume, my first volume. At 100 kPa. What's that? What's kPa measure? Pressure. That's my P1. What is the volume? So I want to know right away what the volume is. So let's, um, at... 127 Celsius. What is this? It's my second temperature. How do I? Con what do I have to do? And I get 400 Kelvin at 90 kPa. That's my what? What variable is that? My pressure. My second pressure. So what don't we talk about here? We don't talk about moles. So my law is P1. V1 over T1 equals P2 V2 over T2. Now all I have to do is I just have to substitute everything. My P1 is 100 kPa times my V1, which is 2.8 liters. Listen up, guys. Uh, my T1 is 300 Kelvin. And that is equal to my P2, 90 kPa, times my variable V2, that's what I want to solve, over my T2, which we just talked about, 400 Kelvin. Now I can just, I can, there's a bunch of different ways I can solve this. Um, but what do I get when I ultimately solve it? V2 is equal to what? 4.148. What's the unit? Notice. What units cancel out, guys? Kelvin cancels out. KPA cancels out. What unit am I left with? Liters. So just pay attention to that. All right? So um, that's it. Let's try a couple.